Hello everybody and welcome back to my Atomic Heart playthrough where last time we had gone ahead, gone further into the seed bank, we were doing something interesting with this stuff. Because I don't think the devs thought about this at all. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called r slash uh, realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled so, program. So there's a couple of guys I'm not wanting to deal with at all. Especially this laser guy. Wait, I wonder... So I might have screwed that up. Okay, you know what? Because I don't really want to get all the progress I have done with this stuff. <clears throat> Especially the BS I've done. I'm going to go back, hit up the save room. The fun part is... God, you suck. Okay, because I don't have enough energy left. They haven't at all attempted to attack me. Make it into here. You still, yeah, you're still down there. No. <clears throat> nope, okay. So you can totally leave this place then. Wait, no. Alright. So now that we got those guys taken care of, let's go up. I actually explore this place. Ooh. Alright. 
So that's where we need to go. Ah, it's just immune. Propaganda, propaganda. All right, let's go ahead and get this snapped. Ooh. What? Okay, that's how that lock works. At the very least, it's not a time-based one. That's how we get back to here. Okay, got it. Still ain't gonna see what the hell happens when you don't do it right. I doubt it does anything like shocks you or anything like that. Let's actually go do what this wants. I'm sorry. Oh, we're back in this place. Petrov, you've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Uh, he's dead. Listen to me, you brainless mutt. Yes, agent, this recording is for you. I can hear you banging around in the warehouse. You'll never take me alive, so listen up. You have no idea what's going on. Who's the brainless mutt now, huh? Yeah, he died to your own damn thing. According to biometric readings, this is patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Yeah, Shit. Even... It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. 
Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, P3. Oh. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my lord? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Fading data. Okay, that one could have been deadly. Here, uh, the door's locked. Oh, we I won't see. Be able to open it without power. Since we've already explored all through there, we don't need the candle over there anymore. Internal PEC 4 power generator microclimate readings are suboptimal. Electricity generation not possible. The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them uh, activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Yep. Smoking related issues have been especially intense since the war. And Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. By making pipes look So, what do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just <laughs> like I do. Waiting God damn for it. someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. Take off the glove, and we'll be together no. forever. Don't hold your breath. So, why is this birch tree so important? It's not important at all, Stud. You'll have to warm her up, but you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing like me. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really? I'd be insane with you. Alright. That's locked from the inside. So what are we looking at? What the fuck? Okay, so those are by... Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. Are you sure? Fading data. I would think that this is something that just would have happened otherwise. Okay, well, we obviously can't go through there. Wow. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system, or excessive polymer fertilizer production. Whatever it is, it's not fun. Okay, so there's no entry point here. Alright, let's see. I guess the only way forward is up. Okay. 
There's no signs of anything, so that's fun. The hot workshop for Thermarium is one of the Babylon complex's most challenging and difficult to maintain testing routes. It is designed for the production of specialized energy consuming polymers and the breeding of experimental plants capable of thriving and propagating in extreme temperatures. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, Neo Colladorians? Experiment was successful working together, although we did more, of course. Teams from Valley and Palov bred a new species of Caladorian or Colorado potato beetle. It's our way of fighting fire with fire, that's what we call them. By the way, the fire beetles. The new parasite only eats harmful plants such as ragweed, some weed, wormwood, and hemlock. Why hemlock? The last one is personal. It killed my dog. God damn it. <laughs> Due to the toxic substance in the beetle, the birds won't eat it, and introducing it will not harm an ecosystem. In addition, the beetles cannot reproduce and will die after season. Okay. This means we no longer need pesticides or any harmful uh, substance. One parasite eats another. Isn't that neat? I mean. What happens if it doesn't eat all of what you want dead? I have nothing but respect for the Czech furniture factory, but I got a great idea. Let's use the uh, to make our own. We've been getting a, a lot of prisoners lately, and they're reasonably com competent. Plus, they're always recycling all kinds of pine trees and birch trees that didn't pass inspection. Stuff like that. As office manager, it pays me to see this. Maybe it's just something, or it just seems like X is lumber to your science, but to me it's wasted potential. You can supply the whole uh, facility with its own furniture made from unique species. It's a great idea. Uh, pass? Plus, every uh, set of furniture would be uh, what the French call uh, exclusive. Operation Amazon. Document preparation. A crisis is currently underway in the Amazon region. Thanks to the capitalist industrial soppiness, the rainforest is dying off at a terrifying rate. Comrade Bubba has ordered me to assemble a committee to solve the problem. Right now, we're suggesting the fast growing tropical trees with more durable uh, root structure be designed. The most important part of this project is secrecy. We usually love bragging to the entire world about helping underdeveloped countries, but we need to avert this particular disaster without a lot of bluster. Huh. So they don't want to one-up the Americans and all that. Maybe they see it as something that is more serious than a political stunt. I don't see shit. Ah, this was the thing behind the door. There we go. Now we can re-enter from this one. Which is good. I'll go get a quick save done. I don't know if we've had enough uh, for the actual... Oh, okay. I mean, that's interesting. We do have enough. Okay, we can go upgrade. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the recirculatory. Yes. Every time. Do I actually have enough? Oh, I do. Mm. Ooh, I actually would like that. I know we just had a thing where I couldn't hit uh, the damn thing because it was too far. Okay. Oh, I forgot to save after those upgrades. So essentially, it does look like it's cost less energy to shoot. Also, the fact it should be actually a uh, way better. I'm wondering what the hell these wires, what the hell caused them? Because they look terrifying. Oh, there's something on that side. The 
Okay, that was just a kill. Look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay, I'll deal with it. Probably follow these pipes. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Oh, through there. Okay, I found the opening. Okay, it's just gone. Okay, that's why. Okay, where is it? Ah, there it is. Okay. So we need just two more after this. this shit to the boiler myself? Oh, I see. Let me go get the other two, then. The other one. Oh, that's how. Okay. Oh, thank crying out loud. So... 
Okay. I'm gonna go with you. Academy of Consequences Radio of the Future. It could be anything. The future is fast. I love when you make him disappear. go for the one that's further. Too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the okay. Babylon complex. Uh, Why can't mind. I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Comrade Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I yeah. failed. 
And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? <sighs> Two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's okay, like a father to me. Wrong if there's anything that. I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed <laughs> in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? Nah, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Surprise I'm getting told by our hand. But okay, on the name, the new plants. Who cares about Martian potatoes or moon wheat? Coming up with really boring names, trust me, it matters. What if we fly off to another solar system, like Alberinum or whatever? I don't know, I'm no expert on that stuff. And then we plant our magnificent, non-picky sunflower on a planet there. But then it turns out it's not a sunflower at all because there's no sun. So now it's an Aldarian flower. Think about that. We should think about blueberries too. They won't even be blue on Mars. We should call them red berries. But that's no good. And pink berries sound too weird to me. He pulled the plug. Uh, some pulled the plug in my project. He said it was illogical and a favored form over su uh, substance. Can you believe that? If we can make these sprouts, why do we have to bring regular cold resistant and hot heat resistant plants? If we want to settle a new world, maybe we should create new plants there. Look, I love our Russian birch forests, but if I fly to say Cuba and I want to see palm trees and reeds, you know something, something new. We shouldn't grow fucking apple trees on Mars. We should grow flaming Martian beehive cacti or stalks of electric wheat. We got the chance to make the new world unlike any other. We're growing cabbage. Give me a break. On sprouts, please keep the please read this carefully. It's not a joke. Yesterday, while disposing of organic waste, I discovered several carcasses of pigs that had expired during experiments into or what is it? I disposed into. Uh, the sprout breeding chambers. We checked the rec recordings again today to see where the vulvas have been going, and I discovered that pigs have gotten up, walked around the chamber, and even tried to get outside. Unfortunately, by the time I got there, the carcass had been eaten. There must be, there may be something we don't even know about the sprouts. I insist we study this incident. So that would explain why the hell they're taking on the bodies. That's what I was thinking. That it's not from Petrov. It's just the place in general. Alright. Nope, nothing yet. We still haven't res uh, gotten the high resistant polymer. Anything outright? All critical elements are located in the back and at huh. the bottom of the assembly. You find these either along its central axis or on the end. Oh, there's a safe room. Oh, we got on here. All right, well, let's go ahead and get saved. See if there's any upgrades I can do. So, what will it be, Major? I want to upgrade. I doubt there's anything outright I can do. Nope. Still need the rings. I'm two way. You, I can make you. That was the second layer. Okay. So what was the first one, dude? It increased rate of fire, increases damage. Okay, that's good. Do we still need the fucking ring for the other one, too? No, we need the... Yeah, we need the ring. Did that just cost us ring? I'm pretty sure it did. Great, okay. Uh, well... What about you? I doubt there's anything out right we can do. Ooh, okay, that's actually interesting. So it it tells us the rifle. Well, that's actually kind of interesting. Okay, 
increased damage, uh, reduces recoil, increases energy bonus. Oh, okay, that's cool. Increases damage. Oh, so this would be a really good one to bring in. And this is automatic fire. Expand to decrease rate of fire, increase damage. And it was all the organics. Oh, so it's, is it an expanding round? Explosive spitting, splitting of the round. Ooh, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's against the G Geneva Convention. <laughs> Which, I don't know if it's in this even world, if I'm being honest. Uh, cartridge gun. Increase, accelerate, you. Yeah, I would like to get you. Wait, what? Holy cow, we have a map! I didn't even know there was a map. Okay. Wait, so if I... Holy cow! <laughs> oh, okay, we can't access it right now. We can go into inventory. And if I can go... <laughs> okay, that's, that's cool. So we can actually see all this stuff. Oh! Oh, the laborers. That's cool. So wait, these guys are engineers. What about you? So you're called a dock? Huh. These are, yeah, the welders. The hedges, uh, oh, okay. Oh, these were the loaders. Uh, Drofa, those are the flying ones. Now are the ones that carry stuff. Oh, these are the security drones. Uh, they're transport. Uh, yeah. A ro rotor robot. It's a so. It's a mower. Huh. That's an interesting mower. So the sprouts. Oh. Okay, I need to watch out for them. What the? Endoskeleton of ex. Ugh, that looks disgusting. Mother, I've not even seen her. Dewdrop. That's not organic. What? Uh, it's. Okay, it's a heavy bionic creature. A massive blob wrapped in. So the inside is organic? Used in mining industry. Not only can it lift heavy loads, it. Okay, so this must be massive. And then these are the guys we were just seeing. Okay, uh, she almost got away. Tough old bird. Eleven robots. Wait, what? My dearest V, it's too dangerous to keep leaving. No, nah, okay. Smoky. Oh, that sucks. Okay. That's cool. Authorization made. I don't know if I have anything because we just upgraded a little bit ago. No, I got. Can get you or you. Ooh. Okay, let's get you. All right. So we're gonna save, and then we're gonna end off the video here. Thank you guys for tuning in all that jazz, link, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let's get this video. Have not have a great day.